I'm Bruce the Sock, and I'm going to be assisted by Jeremy the Computer Mouse, and we're going to be showing you how to use JRuby to talk to Java. First thing to do is to type in JIRB, which sounds a lot like the beginning of gerbil. And no, um, actually, no, no, I don't want you to type gerbil. Um, make it go away. We want, it's J-I-R-B is the actual word. So, um, yes, yep, back it up, back it up. Okay, now, so this time we'll get it right, J-I-R-B, and this will give us the interactive Ruby prompt, and the next thing we need to do is tell it that we want to use Java, and we do this by saying require Java, and we put Java in quotes. Oh, Jeremy, you've added an extra B there. So, uh, this time try and get it right. Included Java to tell Ruby that we want to communicate with Java. Notice it says false here. That sounds strange, but it's actually a good thing. The next thing that we want to do is um, we want to talk to a Java class. So let's see. Let's let's talk to Swing. So to talk to Swing, we need to include the Swing class that we need to use, and we do that by calling include underscore class. And then we need, uh, let's see, Java X, oh, yes, Jeremy's on top of this one. Java X swing uh, JFrame. We need a JFrame, yes. And now we have a place to put things, and there it, it, it echoes it back, indicating that it has properly included it. Otherwise, we'd get an exception. So let's now actually create a JFrame by um, using Ruby's new, so we'll create a variable called frame equals jframe.new and that will create one of these things and oh wait let's do another one and give it a border title so um, do it again you can just hit up arrow thing and then give it an argument uh, with inside of quotes a string and we'll just say puppets rule yeah that's a good one okay and now notice that uh, hit return notice that when we do this you'll see there's a whole bunch of arguments here, and you can see puppets rule inside of this. So it's this is just telling us what arguments it had in the object. All right. Next, we need to make this frame some size. So we're going to set the size to something so that it's not tiny and we'll be able to see it. So we will call the set size method. And notice that in Ruby. Um, it uses underscores instead of the uh, camel casing. So, and we also need to use parentheses. And let's make it, uh, I don't know, 350 by, hmm, what else will we make it here? 200. That sounds good. Okay. And, oh, nil comes back. Well, it's not an exception, so it's probably okay. Now, to actually show the thing, we need to say frame dot, what do we need to say, Jeremy? Uh, somehow we need to set visible, that's it, it's set visible, um, to true, and I think we can just use Ruby's true here, and no parentheses in this case, which Ruby doesn't always require parentheses when we're making function calls, so go ahead and do that. Oh, look at that, there's, oh, I guess you can't see it, it's off screen. Maybe uh, move it down here so that we can see, here's our frame, look, and it says puppets rule. Yay! 